This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Chem Power, and a better root planner. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in an e-tron GT, and in this video, we will look at the charging curve and compare it with other cars. So I've chosen this time to compare the e-tron GT with the Taycan. This is from last year, so it seems that the charging curve might have changed slightly, or I'm not sure if maybe the Taycan wasn't hot enough. And then also compare Model 3, and it has a smaller battery, but a more efficient car, so actually the range is more. So they, they it kind of makes sense to compare this one, and also Model 3 is... I guess the only uh, fast charging uh, EV for now that can compete with these ones until uh, EV6 and um, uh, Ioniq 5 is out. And then we include the good old e-tron 55, just call it fat e-tron. Uh, it has only 400 kilometers of range though, but it also has very nice and flat charging cars. Also second fast charging, or also pretty fast charging cars. So these four are pretty fast charging cars. So you guys ready for the horse race? Oh, three, two, one, go! Okay, so right off the line you see that the uh, e-tron GT and Taycan on top uh, two, one, two ones, they are all actually charging at 250 kilowatts. A Model 3 is also charging at 250 kilowatts, that's pretty impressive. Impressive, e-tron on the other hand charging at only 140 kilowatts, that's uh, kind of like more or less, uh, it was a little range low uh, there, <laughs> it's funny, but you get the range low when you also charge up the battery, that's a little flaw, design flaw. Okay, e-tron GT is now hitting uh, 261 kilowatts, uh, Taycan is hitting 265 kilowatts, really impressive. Model 3 now has throttled to 220 kilowatt and it's throttling pretty fast compared to the Germans. The two top ones, at least two top Germans, they are charging at real nice and flat curves. It seems like Germans that like to have flat and nice charging curves. Uh, Etron GT, uh, sorry, the fat Etron on the other hand is only peaking at 141 kilowatt, but it's slowly ramping up now because the voltage is going up. Uh, Etron GT is now uh, Leading the leading the race now with 45%. No, actually, no, no. Model 3 is actually leading the race. I forgot that Model 3 has a slightly smaller battery, but is, this is pretty neck and neck. Now, yeah, okay, now the Etron GT just took the lead. Uh, Taycan, though, is slightly behind. Uh, again, uh, very neck and neck. On the other hand, Etron uh, Model 3, though, is charging at only 125 kilowatt now. It's throttling pretty fast, past 50%. Etron, the fat Etron, is now at 442 kilowatts. So it slowly goes up faster and faster now. But Etron, uh, the fat Etron, is uh, still uh, pretty far behind. Etron GT now is also starting to throttling, <laughs> it's only getting 170 kilowatts, uh, it's having a slight e edge over the Taycan, and the Model 3 is down to 111 kilowatts, oh that's pretty slow man, that is slow indeed, what's going to happen now, uh, e-tron, uh, fat e-tron, <laughs> e-tron 55 is now at 143, slowly, slowly, slowly ramping up, trying to catch the other ones, uh, e-tron GT is still in the lead here, 73 kilowatts, it seems like at this point no other car can beat e-tron GT, or can it, well we will see, Taycan is now slowly throttling, so Taycan is more, mostly just following e-tron gt like a shadow uh, but slightly slower than uh, e-tron gt all the way and then Model 3 has now throttled to only 81 kilowatt, 80 kilowatt, oh no! Model 3 seems to be the slowest car as for now, but what about the uh, e-tron 55 then? Oh, it's getting 146 kilowatt, slowly reaching its maximum speed now. And uh, alright, now e-tron GT is starting to throttle even more, only 70 kilowatt. Taycan is oh, at 81 kilowatt, with the neck on neck there. Almost seems like Taycan is charging a little bit faster than e-tron GT. And the Model 3 is down to uh, 59, 60 kilowatt only, but the, remember that the battery is smaller and has a bigger, bit of better efficiency. The e-tron 55 is now down to 137, but the charger is super flat now compared to the other ones, because the other ones are now, you look, look how slow the other ones are charging now, only 50, 40, 50 kilowatt, and then e-tron 55 is at 135 kilowatt. e-tron 55, it might be coming for the win here, but is it going to be enough? Because the other ones have a pretty big, big head start, e-tron GT is already at 86%, uh, Taycan is also at 86%, but the Model 3 is coming back now, because Model 3 charges fairly flat to, compared to the other ones, and remember it has a small battery. So Model 3 is starting to catch up e-tron GT even. This is so even. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. I mean, e-tron GT seems to be leading a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. e-tron 55 is coming in hot now. Coming in hot. Okay, e-tron GT only needs 1%. Taycan only needs 2%. Model 3 only needs 2%. Which car is going to win? E fat e-tron 1, 90%. And then e-tron GT again, 90%. And then which one is going to be a third? Uh, Model 3 or Taycan? There, Model 3. And then Taycan. This was so dead even that I could almost not talk fast enough, man. <laughs> so, but you saw earlier that um, uh, the, actually the, the top ones, uh, Etron GT and Taycan, they were really top notch, uh, up to around 60, 70 percent. And when I did 1,000 kilometer challenge, I did charge with 60, 70 percent. However, according to my calculation, Model 3 is actually faster than uh, Taycan and Etron GT simply because the range is bigger. So when you look at the uh, percentage, you also have to look at the total range. 
and also that's why uh, well, I included the fat e-tron but I mean it's an SUV so it's not fair to compare with sedans uh, and so on but um, at least you know the e-tron charger e-tron well I the fat e-tron charges impressively fast to 90% but the problem is that 90% there is around 70 75 percent on the other cars so just bear that in mind yeah but that's also why e-tron uh, 55 the fat e-tron is significantly slower than the other ones in the 1000 kilometer challenge where it really matters to hammer it at high speed so man this thing i, I mean the whole video now it, i came so fast so it's only five and a half minutes and we are already done with the, the charging test but, but wow okay so but you know what in the future i think that this is going to be the norm that uh, we will have cars charging to uh, 90 percent or at least 70 it seems like reaching around 70 percent uh, is pretty fast for all these cars and it will take only 15 20 minutes usually uh, actually yeah around 15 20 minutes to reach 70 percent i also believe this will be the case for uh, ionic 5 and ev6 and then i guess the other car manufacturers they also have to follow otherwise they will be beaten uh, by this but up until now we have of course uh tesla but tesla still doesn't have the v3 superchargers out if this was v2 supercharger session the tesla would be the slowest of, of them all so that this is of course the problem i show best case and then we just have to hope that tesla will build enough v3s to compete with these other ones uh but and also the problem with e-tron and gt and Taycan is that they are somewhat pricey and the fat e-tron though is very popular among norwegians at least but eventually i think the the um, yeah the fat e-tron will be uh I don't know discontinued but at least it would be actually uh, competed out competed by the e-tron the Q uh, Q4 e-tron yes so many e-trons here man why did they call it e-tron all of them but okay anyway uh, I think that's gonna be it for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later